Yeah, they did investigative journalism. <laughs> yeah, we investigated it and we saw that it was the most ethical. Yep. <laughs> like better crazy. better than American factories. Oh, we're going to do the shine propaganda. Dude, this was awesome. Oh, they Okay, we like need more. We need factory. more. I, no, no. We got to get started on day one. This is day three. This is the newest version. Well, I haven't seen this. I saw, I saw on dude, TikTok. Dude, we got to start. We got to start from the top. Okay? Give me give me the original one. Shine <laughs> is like a, the, a big kind of it's Chinese. The, it's factory. the Chinese Forever 21. And like... They just make lots and lots of clothes. Yeah, them. they it's make like, it's it's fast fashion. Exactly. It's really bad for the environment, and it's like made in obviously the horrifying workplace yeah. conditions. And like most other brands are also in a, you know developed under similar circumstances. Mm -hmm. So I think it's like you know the distinction that it's like Chinese uh, doesn't make it any uh, worse or anything like that. Hold on, hold on. I want to know. Uh, is this the first one? Is this the first video? I need to see it. Day three. Oh, this is the OG video, yeah. So Sheen uh, literally went and, and hired a bunch of influencers, like Sheen influencers, to come to China and visit their facilities and talk about how, like, ethical the process of labor see. is in their facilities, okay? We just pulled up. My mouth, I'm still picking it up off the ground. It's so big. Today we are at the Shein Warehouse oh, where like the products come directly from this facility to your home. The most fascinating thing is that I've seen the exact process of Shein clothing. I've seen how it's designed. I've seen how it's made. I've, now I'm going to see how it's packaged and shipped off. And I feel like that's such a unique... It's just not Marvin. suspicious at all that the factory is so empty. It's so it's empty. So it funny. feels... Not strange at all that there's nobody there on this wonderful day where they're like pushing a tremendous amount of product, like a metric ton of product all the time. Imagine being a sweatshop worker though and then having an, you get a day an off. annoying influencer come in though and like film you as you're working. It'd be so fucking annoying. That's, that's well, what we did for our, for our well, there. Soccer. Well, listen, uh, ultimately it's not bad because you get to, what is it, Google Burb? You, you get to take the day off. This is day one. Oh, 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 this is it. This is it. This is it. This is Whoa. the this is the first video. It's so it's good. Amazing airport. Just Not seen an influencer out. do a brand trip to the Sheen yeah, factories. Like, yeah, I mean, China rail. is fucking goaded though. Like, I do want to go visit, and oh, I do so think great. it's awesome. I want to go to like speed rail stations. Are yeah, the I want to go to like all the tier one cities. Like, I'm I'm definitely a fan of all that shit. You know what I mean? But like, this is ridiculous. Okay. Yeah. China trip has been one of the most life changing trips of my life. Getting life to see the whole process of Shein clothing from beginning to end with my own two eyes was so important for. Making off the trip by heading to the factory of the leading manufacturer for Shein was the perfect way to start. I was really excited and impressed to see the work. It's like a conditions. really bad YouTube ad read. Yeah. She's going Facility like word for word the Chinese it's over translation. Square I want to listen. Keep going. Uh, well, feet, he's there's talking. so much technology, and Shein is just such. A he's trying to stop. He's trying to stop this propaganda <laughs> to do his own propaganda. Yeah, go yeah, on. Yeah, like China's actually cool. Don't listen to this. Yeah, guys. yeah. <laughs> A developed and complex company and it was so beautiful to see firsthand. I was able to interview a woman that worked in the fabric cutting department and you guys know me, she's an investigative journalist so I asked her all of our questions and she answered them honestly and authentically. Yeah, they did investigative journalism. <laughs> yeah, we investigated it and we saw that it was the most ethical. Yep. <laughs> Like better, crazy. better than American factories, like by a wide margin. Well, obviously, she highlights there's a woman working in the factory, as if that's like a progressive thing. It's like I think the majority of sweatshops are filled with women, yeah, for a, for a very bad reason. Yeah, yeah no, no, that's progressive, that's dude. Progressive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, typical, well. typical doesn't want to see women shine. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's fucked up. She was very surprised at all the rumors that have been spread in the U.S. She told me about her family, her lifestyle, her commute, her hours. Her last stop was to the Shein you warehouse. There is no this one place here. was massive. It's about 84 acres and almost fully run by technology. Yeah, Are yeah. They all yeah, wearing definitely. Shein as well. They're all yeah. sick. Technology and automation. I was really impressed by the extensive checklist that each item had to go through before it shipped off. I think my biggest takeaway from this trip is to be an independent thinker. They made them work on it too. Because, you know, none of, none of the factory workers are there on this day for some reason. I don't know what that was about. Why well, would you accept this as a sponsorship? Or, you know, you get some money. 
Dude, but what to you? go to a <laughs> yeah, apparently free trip they to China. Apparent, for, yeah. First of all, Sick. I would do it. I want a fucking free trip to China. All expenses <laughs> covered. Are you kidding me? And also, like, yeah, no, it's great. Or get the facts and see it with your own two eyes. There's a narrative fed to us in the U.S., and I'm one that always likes to be open-minded and seek the truth. So I'm grateful for that about myself, and I hope the same she for you guys. the Matrix, dude, dude, dude. There's a narrative. Apparently, she literally fucking wrote in the captions that it's racist. To what? It's cynophobic to question uh, Sheen's workplace conditions. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. That's great, though. That's China getting America at their own game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. If you talk shit, racist. I mean, they've been doing that for a very long time. That's like this most important take on this video. Oh, well, I'm, b- I'm blocked by this person, so... The worst part is that one of the Sheen influencers just ha- ha- showing how she absolutely cannot dress. Oh, Jesus. What is this? I'm like, I'm sorry if you want me yeah, to look past your human rights violations, but you're going to have to do better than having someone who gets dressed in the dark. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It, it. I mean, I don't know what fashion is. I'd... Yeah, I think all fashion. It's not, I think, like, I think it's not everyone, even that bad, I honestly. Think, I don't think that's that bad. I think everyone first, looks thought, this dumb. I thought the first one was bad. But also maybe the idea was we're going to make it so bad that they don't notice anything wrong and they just- Oh, yeah, so you're not looking at the sweatshop. You're just looking at the the silly costumes. I was on her responses here. Oh, let's see. What? I can't even fucking see it. Christ. Why does she think she was not going to get her ass eaten? Bro, okay. This is like the- I have a face mask on. This is- this is like the dark, crazy side of TikTok. And I'm just going to be honest with you, I'm not the fucking one. So here's the deal, okay? One, stop telling me to kill myself. I was suicidal for many years being a fat woman. I'll never kill myself. I'm here to stay, okay? Second, I know exactly who the fuck I am. I know exactly what the fuck I'm doing. Third. Yes, I'm blocked by everyone. Yes, <laughs> I know. I know. Every single fucking person on Twitter that is like, that posts stuff about how, uh, you know, that, that claims that they're leftist or whatever has blocked me. Okay, calm down. Could never, will never be a sellout ever in life. I was not paid for any trip or to say anything. I was taken on a trip, once in a lifetime chance, you would have done the exact same thing. I have so much more. Fair, I would have. I would have, yeah. I'd be shilling Sheen, dude. I'd be like, dude, this factory, no one is here and that's normal. <laughs> we paid money to go to a Chinese sweatshop. Yeah, And we yeah. had to sneak in. Horrible. Wait, really? They wouldn't let you in? No, we no. Did, they actually did let us in. We just walked past and they had, the shutter door was open. So we How walked. bad did it look? This one was pretty fucked. This one was fucked. They were kind of kids with their mums. But the kids were playing mobile games. But, then but that's go good that you can bring options. you can bring your child to, to but work. They let yeah. us have a go. We didn't even speak Chinese and we were kind of like just indicating, can we go on this sewing machine? And then we went on it, started fucking around that's and everyone our, was laughing at us. That's for our next doco. Sweatshop workers were dunking they on were, you? Yeah, they were laughing they were like, at us. Like that's pretty funny. But I really fucked up their sewing machine. I, I yeah. twisted the, yeah. Oh, okay, dude. Okay, BBC, get out of here with your anti-Chinese xenophobic propaganda. Sheen suppliers Come workers on. doing seventy-five hour weeks. Wait, first of all, there's not even seventy-five hours in a week. It's it, impossible. There, <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I just realized. Like, wait. <laughs> It's like Americans are are also working dog shit hours. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Um, it's like every brand uses sweatshops. Like yeah. That. It's such a, yeah that's it, like, it is weird to think about Sheen as a There's a, a song child like behind in the thing. pillar in the right. This looks like the one we were in. Ours was smaller though. Yeah. Wait, why is it? Wait, that's what? Child. This looks the same as our one though. No, ours look, ours look like first. Oh, to the right. That oh, back pillar. Yeah. We should show the footage of our. Kid that's the on the Patreon. It's on the Patreon. Hassan, you need to subscribe to the Patreon. No, not happening. <laughs> Give me free access. Where's the child? Can you do that? Maybe. Oh, there. Oh, this is the. Mm. That's just a. That's oh, a kid. I think that's a child. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Say that's a tiny human. <laughs> go ahead. I'm gonna say that. Go ahead. That's what yeah. I was gonna say. He was about to say person. it. He's like, oh, it's just a tiny adult, actually. I think it's a tiny adult. They yeah. are sitting down, also. You don't know how tiny they are. Yeah, it could be a large child yeah they that could is extend that way past the pole a lot yeah, yeah. They, <laughs> or like really tall really long like minutes. a large child who's perfectly capable of working and like being lazy right now yeah. honestly <laughs> what are they reading the back of a can um chinese workshops like people bring their kids to work so they can start training the next generation she kind of slayed here 
Oh, we got a new pet. And no, it's not a dog. It's a Jita Mini. This is a robot, you guys. It's a first of its kind. What are you doing? It follows me Just everywhere. So today I'm doing a little day in a life. I had to get ready. I had to film some stuff and edit. Here you can see I'm filling up the bin of the Jita Mini and just follows me around. We love him so much. Here he is helping me film. And then he has a whole bin that holds up to 20 pounds, which is amazing. And he follows my movement. They have an insane smart behaviors team that has obsessively studied how we move as humans. And the Jita Mini right. mimics that just by being synced to your phone. I feel like I don't need that much stuff following around the house. No, but imagine a construction life. site or something. You, see the you could use these things to follow me, you And now around. I'm gonna go edit and get some work done. And I have all the stuff I need inside my Gita Mini. I'm not this even like carrying a my purse, okay? It's like a backpack. The Gita Mini yeah. follows me out the door. I had to have a little fun here because it literally follows you seamlessly. I like it on the right, so there's stairs I'm, there. You can I see the handle going up run, the stairs, back and forth. She's not going she's up not it. And there yeah. my boy is, oh, no, my right. good boy, following me around. This would be perfect for grocery shopping or going on a picnic. Honestly, there's so many things you can do. You also do. have to I bend down to so low to put things in there. Yeah. So much fun with my Gita Mini. You guys need to shop and check them out. It is incredible. This is, this is the future. You know they made this for fat Americans. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, like they're like, hey, if you if you're having a hard time carrying your fucking backpack, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here, we've made a robot for you. A Sorry, that's just what's going on. Sure. Okay? okay. When my mom told me that cars were gonna fly one day. This is this was right. What fucking this is better? Yeah, yeah. This what is better what, than a flying car? What fucking Chinese factory worker is like? Oh man, thank God I have my sheet of robot backpack. Yeah. Alongside that, okay. And here you can see I'm getting work done. Everything I needed, like I said, was inside my Jita Mini. Like Who's I filming said, it? Is that it another fits robot? up to 20 pounds, but also you can leave the top open, which is nice. So like if everything doesn't fit as perfectly so as I have made it fit here, you can leave that top open. Which what did she do? What worked? Okay, she China doing? is sick though, and I do want to go. Uh, food you know, in it, that's all I'm saying. It, and I can't wait to have so much fun during the summer with this baby. So check out the Gita Mini. What do you mean check it out? Where can do we, we buy, buy it? it? Can we? Like, can I buy this thing? Probably could in Alibaba, I assume. You know, I tried to buy a robot dog from China, and they wouldn't let me. Wait, why? Because I wanted to put a gun on it, but I didn't tell them that. But they still wouldn't let me buy the dog. Wait, if they didn't know you were trying to put a fucking gun on it, how did they? They saw that you were a YouTuber. They saw that I was a YouTuber. Wait, and they they, they stop you like that? That's they, you ha I think you have to give them your ID or your name, your real name. Oh, can't you can buy like a literal fucking driller? Yeah, yeah, like a on Alibaba. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you want to like drill a hole in the side of a fucking mountain. More I'm awareness sure of what's going on behind the scenes than any of you ever could because you don't see what's going on. 90% of what's in your closet is made in horrible conditions. So you have no I mean, right to true. say anything. Second, I've seen stuff with my own two eyes. If you think it's propaganda, that's cool. Again, you've never been to China and you've never seen what's going on. Third, this is literally our haircut fifth, video. Seventh yeah. point, okay? There is so much xenophobia in. Yeah, but you didn't go to like. Like, you didn't go to North Korea and you were like, actually, they're eating fucking Wagyu steak every night. <laughs> yeah. Actually, North Korea is the best country. Yeah. Well, yeah you, didn't, you didn't turn around and you were like, guys, uh, North Korean workplace safety conditions are so <laughs> mint. They got OSHA 2 out here. They got okay? women working here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and children. Everyone. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> so they're, they're, they're learning at such an early age the importance <laughs> of the value of a dollar. Um. It's it's like it's ridiculous, you know. There's a difference between like being like, here's all the propaganda, mm. and here's the extent of which it's not real. And obviously, for a lot of people, whenever I talk about Korea, whenever I talk about North Korea, people go, "Oh, dude, it means you're defending yeah, like yeah. the North Korean government." It's like, no, I'm not. But like, they're not fucking eating rats, which then the rats eat the children, and then they get fatty, and then they eat the rats again. Like that's fucking stupid. The circle of Korean life. Yeah. Shout out to awesome one where like at one point in the year all the plants become poisonous. Yeah, that was just the that's like that's not even an authoritarian that. thing. It's just like a magical. Yeah, plant. yeah that was amazing. yeah. North Korea is a magical place, dude. <laughs> Uh. racism with everything you guys are saying and that's what i really learned in china we are fed propaganda we are fed a whole line a whole narrative in the u.s about chinese people and chinese culture i mean okay but that part is real but yeah. like th there's a difference between like combating xenophobia or whatever and like defending shines like very clear attempts at, at uh, mm. doing advertising <laughs> what the fuck 
Here's a YouTube video on Shine if you want to yeah, react. Yeah. I skimmed through it. It seems informative. It's under 30 minutes as well. Exposing Shine. Just child labor, stolen design, and poisonous clothing. I don't care about stolen design. I thought, no. how, how many types of clothes can you really design? There's been three different kinds of shirts. <laughs> and everyone's stealing everyone else from now. Oh, you are wearing your third design shirt yeah. that I've ever seen you yeah, wear. Yeah. A Where, Henley. Where's your Ibina shirt? Uh, it's uh, it's too cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's too cold here in LA. Yeah. Um. All right. What else did she say? She popped off on that one. Uh. There's more. Hold on. There's more. There's more. Perspective There's more. to be able to see as not only a creator but a consumer of Shein. Juche one hundred and one. So dumb. Why are these empty? It's where just, are yeah. the people? What you think? There's people on that conveyor belt? <laughs> no, <laughs> like no. Where are the people that are like handling and monitoring the yeah. conveyor belts? Yeah, like, wild. and also, why are the conveyor belts empty and yeah. running? It's like yes. you, you didn't question it like at all. This was not surprising to you. Like these factories are fucking filled to the brim. Do you know the amount of inventory that they're fulfilling? Yeah. Like this is a massively successful multi-billion-dollar company. It's, a, it's just a factory for tours. Yeah, I assume they just like basically built this to be like, look, it's a super automated and... That is a roller coaster for yeah. the influencers. They collect and okay. put everything together and then uh, we get... What is she doing a wow face them up into it's small a big... batches. Okay. Yeah, at that packing to like... She looks very serious when she's saying okay though. Like... Mm. Mm. We know that for a long time, Shine represents ultra new lows for fast fashion, but the sheer quantity of new garments is pushing makes other fast... Giants pale in comparison. This is from the business Whoa. of fashion. Dude. That is insane. A number of new styles added in the US. <laughs> 314,877. Okay. That, you can't even do that with like humans. Like this has got to be like AI, right? They yeah. have to have like some kind of. What is a style? AI generated style. What is a style? How do you know what a new style is? It's a style, just a combination of colors and patterns. That's a new style. I could make a lot of those really quickly. There's no fucking shot that they are utilizing. No, no, no. Do they look good though? A human being, I don't think, can physically churn out this many new desire, uh, desire, new styles mm. and, and designs. Like Even if they were stealing it from everybody else, it, it's just, there's no fucking shot. Remember Zara had that like um, slave ship? Because like if you have your shit made on international waters, you escape certain labor laws. That's Wait, it. really? Yeah, yeah. That's they, brilliant. Shit. Yeah, That's they, fucking brilliant. They should have they should have done an ad for that, but like had it on a cruise ship and be like, this is such a great place to work. Yeah. They get to party. They get to drink. Sheen's business model is so much faster and more nimble than many of its closest peers that it could even be classified on a level of its own. Writes journalist. Uh, Zhu investigated good on use data on Shine and all known evidence about how the brand operates. Real-time fashion refers to a retail model that almost acts as a mirror to the current social media trends. It takes Zara about two weeks to go from design to delivery. Sheen has reduced go-to market process for new clothes to only a few days. That's pretty crazy. That's fire. Dude, they do, merch, they do everything better yeah. in China. Yeah. That's what this is. These guys are just jealous that these guys have a three-day turnaround for new shirts. Let's make merch right now yeah. in China. Or it's literally currently being made by the AI. <laughs> yeah, yeah, before we... It's like infinity. You know it what I mean? There's infinite amount of styles. It's already... If you've thought it, it's been done already. <laughs> China has already came up with it. What is this? Uh, climate tech reporter at TechCorn saying Sheen puts new products online instantly and then blasts it all over social media. And because it's just online, they're also able to collect feedback very quickly. Why does all this matter? Obviously, it's easy to highlight what's wrong with Sheen's exploitative business model. But what we talk less about is how their popularity online means this new breed of fast fashion is taking the waste and climate crises to new lows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're just fucking really good at logistics and y'all are just jelly, I think. <laughs> this influencer's right. For order, order of a ship. Everyone? Okay. At least with these influencers, they're not using them. Sometimes I've seen it when China pays people to do something. There's like... They say the most insane lines, like ch obvious Chinese, like, like verbatim points, translated, where it, it just doesn't sound grammatically correct at all. I and they are some of them are so. You're talking about the ads watch. you do when I do the thing. I'm talking about my sponsorships. I do, yeah. <laughs> but also, I've seen it with other YouTubers that have gone to China. But they're at least you know 
talking yeah, about these guys like less journey. human run and more technology and automation like put into the actual process so i'm really excited to see what that looks like automation is kicking chinese factory workers out of jobs what are they fucked gonna up. do fucked up uh eat rocks duh <laughs> with all their free time yeah. i just put this in here face up Like, see, even we can do it, and we're fucking influencers. I'm messing up. <laughs> I like the experience because it was real. You know, it wasn't just like we got pictures or videos of these warehouses or facilities. We were actually there. There were so many things answered for me along this journey, and so I can't wait to just continue to grow my knowledge and then ask what else needs to be asked. Now I can go it's home. Fire. Feeling reassured, feeling confident in my partnership with Shein, food, working for Shein, and yeah, being a consumer rocks. of Shein, and I feel comfortable spreading that message to my community and yeah, to my family Chipotle, and friends. Whatever. You got rocks outside, though, don't you? I'll go with some of those. You want rocks? I love how Kai has just like missed the entire bed to sleep on the tiny bit of wood there is next to it. <laughs> no, she literally doesn't. Uh, <laughs> she does not uh, like the she she likes the floor because it's like uh, cooler. cooler yeah yeah look at her head just like along the gray sorry no one else can see oh. okay let's watch this see it it's right there need your help if they continue to be what? sloppy like this <laughs> <they're going> <laughs> <laughs> dude three hundred thousand designs you're inevitably you're gonna have you're gonna have to do a swastika. But I mean, also, like literally. Yeah. It's it's if it's, if it's shapes. If it's all AI, like this is a there's yeah. a lot of images of this on the internet. But it also Where, means uh, people they're gonna people are gonna buy it. That's why they you, yeah. they did product testing. You know what's funny? This is not the fucking woke AI that Ben Shapiro was upset about. Yeah. This is the this is the non woke AI. It's it's churning out fucking swastikas, dude. What all the people want. Yeah, bro. Swastika imagery is very common in Asia. Yeah, except. It's not in China. Not the not fucking Hindu. wrong, not the wrong way, chatter. Also, if it's on a necklace, you can switch it. No. You can just turn it the other so. way. When you, you turn it the other you... way, it becomes the same. Does it become the same way? I'm trying to picture a swastika. A swastika head, turning on a necklace. <laughs> and for the US market too? Yeah, come on. Yeah. Call them in. These people who are working 75 hour weeks are making about- You know that the symbol existed long before Nazis, right? Brother, I was in Japan. Like uh, 24 hours ago. Yes, there are swastikas everywhere. Okay, I know. But it's not a swastika. And it's not the way it's turned around. Okay, it, it's facing the different direction. Stop. Why are you defending swastikas? Okay. <laughs> Jesus it's Christ. It's very nuanced to say. You know, yeah, I yeah. understand. I want to flip something around and see if it changes direction. Yeah, they're, they are everywhere. You go to a fucking temple, you're going to see a, a swastika. It's a symbol for peace. Uh, but it's not turned around okay it's the it's the reverse swastika it's called manji in japanese I by think the everyone's way just racist you can't handle white people becoming hindus on mass if i don't back in world war ii if i don't defend the swastika who will <laughs> 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 yeah anyway uh doesn't the falun gong use it everybody it, yes yeah but they're actual nazis it, well falun gong, <laughs> <laughs> falun gong using it is for different purposes probably they're they're anti-miscegenation <laughs> Uh, anyway, hold on. What she did another one. What's up, you guys? Today we're gonna talk about what's she up. All the tea, debunking some rumors, and everything you guys wanted to know from my brand trip. So, like I told you before, Shein is the first brand to ever take me on a brand trip. Damn, Aww. this is the first time she ever did a trip, and it was for Shein. God damn, that's like advanced. Yeah, they should have. They should have gotten someone who's already like done PR for yeah, I yeah. don't know, like a racist corporation or something. <laughs> like they, we'll do it. Yeah, oh, it kind of came out of the blue. Corporations before, yeah, this is what times. I mean. Come like on. they, they should have gone to the experts. This way, you could have more than three fucking shirts. That would Think be so about nice. That. We could have three hundred thousand. How many shirts? designs could I get? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, but like I talked about in a bunch of my TikToks, I asked all the right questions and I got invited to this dinner that the heads of Shein were at and I got so much good information and I want to share it with you guys so that we can be on the same page. And that way you guys understand what made me work with Shein and why I feel confident in doing so. 
So I went to this amazing event. I heard from the higher ups and I took a bunch of notes. So I'm going to be looking behind me because I want to make sure I get everything right. But honestly, to get all this info, go to my YouTube video. I'm doing a long version of this so I can tell you all the tea. So I'm just now making this video because I was in it was a great, like, YouTube with Talk Machine about how right. I can bring information from the brand to the a consumer mm. and how I can help them with debunking a lot of these rumors. We've come together, signed a contract, yeah, I want I Italian a deal subs. with them, and they've come oh, all yeah. the way. So that's the first subs. thing I want to note is that they take no, care I'm of their creators, Italian. and especially <laughs> well, as a plus-size creator, classic Italian? I am oh, about 60% yeah, of Italian. the time underpaid, and they have definitely not underpaid me and taken great care of me. So when it comes to well, not sustainability, you're, you're when an it influencer. comes to yeah, ethical you're not, conduct, you're not a sweatshop my worker. understanding you weren't actually is she working is doing there. everything they possibly can. So basically a breakdown of the company and how they work, they branch out to manufacturers to create their clothing outside million of Sheen. Tons of now these outside. manufacturers have to apply Doesn't by a code of conduct that aligns with gas. the international That's probably labor like, laws. So it's not even Shein's laws, it's but it's international labor laws. So within this code of conduct, they can have Oh, yeah, yeah, they lot, have like... to have responsible manufacturing, civic rights, and worker safety at all times. If they don't, they get cut off immediately and they can no longer manufacture for Shein. You got to go. Shein conducts thousands of audits, Hell so yeah. basically they are constantly <laughs> auditing these manufacturers to make sure that they are up to code with all of the code of oh, she's very articulate. The law. Like, she's really just like, yeah, that's why. All the that's, yeah, she's doing well, great. Call it exactly what their manufacturing model is. Obviously, what Shein is doing. Check my chat history. I don't think Shein's going to be that different to other. Factory well, I think it's just makers. scale. It's no, just they're that not. Big. But also, if you were to fucking go and like look at Nike sweatshops and be like, "No, actually, it's great." Everyone yeah. would be like, "What are you talking yeah, about?" Yeah. Like, I can see the child behind <laughs> the fucking <laughs> pillar. Like, what? What do you Why mean? Are the doors so small in this factory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> These stations are created for everywhere. children. <laughs> um, like that's 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 why. Like, yes, if you were to say like all factory uh, conditions and like uh, uh, rely on uh, the exploitation of the third world or whatever, then that's fine. Uh, it's no different in many other, uh, in, in, in many other factories. That's fine. That's just normal. That's real. But like you're, you're going a step beyond that and saying like, no, it's actually, it's actually sick. Yeah. It's yeah. fucking sick. Well, let me get stabilized footage of this. Yeah, Ooh. like, oh man, it's it's it doing great. Um, meanwhile, it's like coming to the hospital broadcast at the top of the hour and not getting a three minute ad break. You know what I mean? You see this from Sheen? What? What is this? Someone's touching their willy. Their dick? No, they're getting arrested. <laughs> <laughs> what? And they're dead, and they're they're getting pepper and spray? no. Oh, it's a dead guy. No, it's a dead guy a who's handcuffed, outline. and they're putting a chalk outline around. Well, I would again, buy that. There's probably be, another million of like. To be fair, to be fair, you know, three thousand and eight hundred designs. You yeah. know, you're gonna arrive at that yeah. sometimes. Okay, this is awesome. I like this. Chalk outline means they're alive. What? No. It <laughs> <laughs> What? No. Yeah. It's just kids playing at school. Yeah. I don't think he's dead yet. What? People are really giving their interpretations of this work of art here. I love I love that like this is how tw uh, uh fucking Twitter works too. Looking for nice anklets, pretty outfits or beauty items? Shop with pretty lashay. Use my 10% <laughs> code underneath this fucking post. I had some, have you seen how much they, they offer you for that? It's really funny. Someone I, offered me one, it was $50 to advertise a, like a glow moon lamp or something on my, that, really on the on photo a, of me making meth that went viral <laughs> on Twitter. <laughs> it was like $50. See, that's crazy. People still do it too. I think they're taking a time last photo and the cop is using a sparkler to do the shape of his body around him while he's uh, dancing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know it's not Sheen related, but that lady hilariously promotes a robot person. Another, yeah, we saw that already. Yeah, this was the Sheen Ferguson apo online store. Sheen apologized for selling a phone case to a handcuffed black person outline in chalk. <laughs> the retailer has been criticized in the past for selling a swastika pendant and a Muslim prayer mat as de decorative rugs. Thirty-four oh. MKD fifty. Thank you for the another fifty. Get the subs, uh, dude. At this point, at the top of the hour, in the middle of the hour, this motherfucker is just juicing. Here's the uh, here is the. Three minute ad break now, by the way. Here it is. They stole that design too. Wait, from who? 
from real life America. Shouldn't, shouldn't that guy be in trouble? We've removed the item out of respect for our community and want to clarify it. We never got the artist's permission to use the art, which was not meant for... Wait, <laughs> they stole that? <laughs> Just better. digging yourself even deeper. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't us. We actually stole it. Yeah, this yeah. this this horrifying artwork that we uh, presented as ours was not ours. Actually, it was stolen. I love that. That makes it better. That makes yeah. it better. That's more ethical. Don't worry, it's not art. It's actually a photo of a person we killed. Yeah. <laughs> I believe last year they said they did around twenty eight hundred audits alone. So some other things I gathered was Sheehan's goal is to make low cost. So it's like one audit per ten thousand design, which I think is so. Oh, they let everybody partake in the fashion design process. Ooh, even yeah. racists. That's nice. <laughs> For not only affordability but size inclusivity, they go up to a four X, which a lot of fast fashion brands don't. They also have fabrics that are ethically. Made. Wait, why does it cut off? I need more of this juice. Yeah, oh, recycled okay, fabrics. If you look at their carbon footprint, they also have a very low carbon footprint compared to I've many. Never heard fast someone say I'm going to spill the their tea. Their goal is to have wasteless production. This is a wanna... <laughs> Guys, yeah. Have you guys seen? Tea. Have you guys seen the fucking uh, the the face cream ad that someone did while talking about their experience oh, the surviving a school shooting? No, what? Oh, dude, America is so awesome. You have no idea. Wait, hold up. Someone linked that to me. It chatters. Third result, if you search Chapo Trap House on AliExpress. Whoa. That's so much cheaper than the shirt I got. Does that mean you have merch on there? Probably. Oh, we have merch on there. I don't think we're popular enough. For Wait, what's the third one? Them. My 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 girlfriend's husband fights for your freedom. That's awesome. <laughs> AliExpress. Let's see. Online shopping. Hasanabi Express. On oh, watch, fuck. Watch, watch sales of this merch go up now. <laughs> what Whoa. the? Oh, that, one, got that one's good. Third one's good. What a fucking liar, dude. <laughs> Piker Hassan. That one's... These are just weak. That's weird. Piker Hassan. That's this weird. one's kind of sick. I like though. that one. <laughs> I oh feel like God. I've seen you wearing this before. <laughs> I don't know. Did you buy your own merch for cheaper off AliExpress? I made this. <laughs> your fans are going to buy this now. Yeah. Man. This is a smart idea. What the fuck? Oh, you want to see that? thrown countless obstacles at me this year from a school shooting to having no idea what life is going to look like after college supportive mental health awareness month i'm partnering with bior skincare to strip away the stigma of anxiety we want you to get it all out not only what's in your pores but most importantly what's on your mind too anxiety in my life has come in waves i found myself recently struggling from seeing the effects of gun violence firsthand <laughs> had to intentionally set aside time for prioritizing my mental health I will never forget the Tell feeling of terror that I had walking around about, campus yeah. for weeks in a place I considered home. With countless anxiety attacks to crying alone in my room at night. No, this is, my message to funny. you guys is that this it's is okay impossible. not to have it all together. Life continually changes and your thoughts will too. Do things that make you happy and know everything will work itself out. Join me and Bior Skincare in speaking up about mental health by screenshotting this digital card and filling it out yourself. Every video posted is a step closer to normalizing conversation. This is 100% real. Why are you saying this is not real? Gun it's violence gave her acne. <laughs> uh, some tiny bullets that hit me in the face. This isn't real. This is Tim and Eric. No, it is real. This is ridiculous. Why are people saying this is not real? This is like a bit too good. She literally this had is... to apologize for it, man. The robots are already among us. She's an imposter. No. It's so funny to just so casually mention it. Reminder is because companies often tell people to add in personal stories and yeah. add cop yeah, copy. They do. This is I've real. Yeah. But the edit's so good because it's her lying in her bed. Yeah, like, it's it's literally so real that fucking uh, uh, Biore or whatever apologized for it. But they approved it. Yeah. Why are people saying that it's not real? Like, what? Uh, why looks, are you, it looks like satire? It's odd that you would just like look at something that's so fucking insane and immediately you're like, oh no, this is not the state of America. This is this must be fake. Mm. Have you seen the video of the girl? She has like a breakup on TikTok and then she puts her phone down and records herself like screaming in her bed and she's like, ah, Oh yeah, I have. This yeah. is me processing my breakup. I did. Ah. <laughs> yeah, it was in the fucking New York Times, man. Look, Biorian influencer apologizes for school shooting <laughs> ad. Uh, 
it's so good. God, I love That's this. That's going to make people want to get into school yeah. shootings. Oh. They're going to be like, sick, I get a sponsorship if this happens to me. No, I, I just love, I love this. <laughs> I love this so much. This is the final stage. Like, we have to do stuff like this. Here's a, here's a parody of the Sheen ad, by the way. I'm a Triangle Shirtwaist ambassador here in New York, getting a closer look behind the scenes at the Triangle Shirtwaist factory here in Greenwich Village. <laughs> More girl bossing. Like, yeah. again. I loved getting to learn about... Oh, I'm sorry. Do you not want women in the workplace? Yeah, it's kind of fucked each up. ...each step of the manufacturing process, as well as actually seeing the working conditions for myself. <laughs> like many others, I've heard a lot of misinformation, so I enjoyed seeing it firsthand. There are lots of stairs and exits in case of emergency, and they use a lot of technology, which puts less work on the workers. I've also loved getting to know all the people here on the Triangle Show. I love the person going, they're non-binary. I'm not even talking about them. I'm talking about the people working at the fucking uh, uh, Triangle. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Shut the fuck up, dumbass. Shirtwaist team. I'm so thankful for Triangle Shirtwaist and all the opportunities it's given me and others. Mwah. Mwah. That was great. Beautiful. Like anyway. We should go to China. Go to a Chinese. Another Chinese. Not normal, very nice. The oh, this most triggering great. breakup I've had in nine years. Wait, so my entire family just died in a plane crash? Uh, no, sorry. I just don't really know what to say. Could I actually call you back later? You <laughs> 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 should do the kicking. Yeah. <laughs> Even get it. I have to do this when I fucking hurt myself in a video and I'm like, I don't capture it on camera. Yeah, you gotta re my redo it. back in a grinder. <laughs> <laughs> Except you actually do fuck yourself up, don't you? <laughs> what is this? True crime with Aussie should watch TikToker road rage police assault. It's a lot of words. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Um. Boy still can't do her facial hair. Is that not me? This one is better. I am processing the most triggering breakup I've had in nine years. <laughs> <laughs> That's that stupid. <laughs> That's stupid. Okay. Where are we? Where are we? I gotta fucking cut this AliExpress shit out. All right, let's watch this fucking shine. Two expose. to six cents per article of clothing. Let's be more mindful, Shein. Let's be responsible. That's all I'm asking. Shein is one yeah, of- Yeah, dude. They're gonna be more mindful and responsible. <laughs> they're like the a fucking- is. Multi-billion dollar mega corporation <laughs> based out of China that like has basically streamlined every aspect of clothing design and and uh, and are doing three day turnarounds on three hundred thousand new designs a year. I they should be more mindful when they're doing that. Well, do they sell in America? What's the what's yeah? Their they sell like, everywhere, but it's like so they, they sell as a different label here because I've never heard of Shein. I think it's still the same thing. They're no, it's called Asian Sheen. In, in Australia. I, yeah, I don't know where you buy. I guess Sheen.com. I don't fucking... Oh. ...of the most deceptive brands. They constantly dodge questions about their working conditions... No brand will ever answer those questions. ...who can't defend themselves. Stop defending the public them. is convinced that these Sheen workers need our help. They are... Uh, sorry. Pretty sure that's not what it looks like. We saw it first. I saw TikTok firsthand. Yeah. They had a roller coaster. Yeah. <laughs> that's like weird. They get to they get to ride it. Yeah. It's fun. We're working 75 hour long weeks with little to no pay. And the clothing that Shein has been selling us is slowly poisoning us. So let's get into Sick. it. That is actually a good like anti-American thing. If China just making feel poison clothes or stressed after <laughs> a long sending them day. to us. what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> They're poisoning us. Eat this drug. <laughs> Eat this gummy. One. Hey y'all. So y'all know y'all heard about that Sheen stuff where Sheen is like uh, overworking their employees, I guess. And <laughs> yeah, put it on the clothes, it say need your help and stuff. There are hundreds of videos just like. Did this actually happen? So like, they, they, they had random acts. 
but I think that one's also just activism. Like it's not actually people no, who made them. No, I don't them. think so. I don't think what the Chinese workers know how to write in English, how to say "help me, please," and then hide it in a thing. In a tag. Wow, that's racist. You think Chinese workers don't know English? I'm not saying that. I'm saying their Fuck logic up. is smart enough that they realize how would they know which worker wrote it? Wrote it, you know. Which one? Which one of them needs help? Wow, which one needs help? <laughs> <laughs> not all of them. Yeah, individually, <laughs> one of them only. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a flaw in my argument. Okay, I get it. We have echo because I took the fucking noise gate off so that I can have guests speak on the microphones. You know how this fucking works. Why do you? Why are you confused every time? I've gotten them so used to good audio Audio. that like when there's like a slight audio change, they're just like they lose their fucking minds. This one where these consumers pull out their Shein clothing and they read the label to find a cry for help. Two weeks ago, so let's see. (laughs) <laughs> Which is blocking me from gifting oh my God. again. Yeah, it's blocking me from gifting because you gifted like 7,000 fucking subs, dude. Like the currency conversion is, is it favorable, sure. But like, I understand why they're fucking stopping you. That's crazy. Don't they want more money? I, I They probably That's think weird. there's like something going on that's uh, like fucked like- up. This dude gifted over the course of the past like two weeks. He gifted like 7,000 subs. Wait, how do you, you, you can gift, what, I don't you can sub- gift to subs? So then someone else shows up and they, it's like pay it forward? No. Yeah. So someone that was subscribed to someone else is suddenly subscribed to you. No. <laughs> um, he's Turkish. He's Turkish. And in Turkey, there's a conversion. Like the subs are like 40 cents on the dollar. Uh, that's still a lot. He's, right. g- he's giving you $200. You got multiple subscribers, by the way. But that's what it is. So, that's what's going on. Y'all, do y'all see it? It's right there. Need your help. These videos are currently going Check viral Alexa, on TikTok, and Sheehan isn't happy about it. They are currently arguing against label. these TikTokers and claiming that there aren't any cry for it? helps on our tags, and everyone's just misunderstanding everything. One viral TikTok in particular racist. has 40 million views, right, and they're silly. claiming that there are secret messages on Sheehan's clothing tags. Need and currently, Sheehan is doing everything <laughs> in their power to go to every news source and explain away this whole whole conspiracy. That's great is a fa- no, they just meant like, we need your help washing these clothes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sure you guys are misunderstanding. Itself. They're just saying like, please. Help washing. But also the people that write that and come up with the message that goes on the back, they're not the individuals on the, on the floor. No, it's someone who's like trying to translate this stuff into English and he's like, I need help. Yeah. It's very difficult. <laughs> we need your help washing, dude. Yeah. That's uh, that's it. That's the fast fashion question. company, which means that they turn over clothing very quickly at a low price, which involves cheap labor. And people believe that these tags read need your help because people are being forced to work in these factories really long and hard hours and they're trying to get our attention. So Shein isn't too happy about this media storm and they released a statement claiming that the message on these tags are just a poorly written <laughs> reminder to remind consumers we right. to use fabric softener when- I'm not kidding. We the other right. stuff I do think, you know, is real, but like this probably, it's more likely that it was a bad, a bad translation. translation. I think it was, yeah. <laughs> it's significantly more likely. Well, just also like, I just don't think workers- Your friends are racist as hell. How do you feel about that, bro? Oh, are we your friends? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> nice. like, you guys, I don't know. I, well, well, let's not ban this guy. I want to know. I want to investigate yeah, I further. I want to know what he says. I want to know as well. Because if I'm racist, I want to. Yeah. I, they the are washing their Shein right clothing, there. probably because their clothing is pretty hard. <laughs> like I've I've purchased from Shein before. I'm not trying to act like I'm some angel in this no, video. Right but after doing right some research, I don't know if I could ever support this company right again. Them. And it seems like a lot of the miscommunication is coming from TikTok. So. Naturally, they posted a TikTok of their own. Here it is. <laughs> wow. Debunked. Yeah, they're, they're doing a good job. They're, they're, dude, that's why they had to hire the influencers. <laughs> What's good, bro? Yo, yo. What's good, Brody? Hello. Hey, oh, wearing the Japan sumo shirt. Oh, see. See. Did you just here. Got back from Japan, too? Yeah, it was already. Yeah. You didn't see the photo of them in the. 
I did not. The black and white You're, photo. Okay, oh, well, okay. Alex is still uh, considered a friend. Uh, Alexa, no longer on the friend list. Oh, I didn't Wait, am that. I the racist though? He's the racist. No, because uh, fucking not. you knew about that and, and Alexa told us didn't. Yesterday what did well. Hassan told us. I did. Oh my God, you're right. I did tell you. Oh yeah. I don't really listen unless it's on stream. <laughs> unless I'm watching Super Mega on stream with you, then I, then yeah. I take it all in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, 34 MKD 50. Okay, Twitch has not stopped him. This label's made in Bangladesh, taken from a stock photo. This poorly worded label is simply asking customers to help keep the fabric soft by using softer detergent. <laughs> we need your help washing with soft detergent. So there are two things that TikTok is trying to do with this video. They're first off TikTok? trying to explain away this tag by claiming that you just need to use fabric softener. Like it's not that That's serious. Like the they don't need your help in this factory. And then secondly, oddly enough, they take a few old photos from the past and try to like mix it in with this viral situation to make it seem like what we're seeing is just like recycled content. I personally haven't seen anyone use this photograph oh. as evidence for like Shein clothing, but they bring up this incident from 2015 and they claim, you know, it's not us. But the main issue here is the fact that people believe that the people creating this clothing aren't being treated fairly. When it comes to Fashion Nova, another huge fashion brand, but honestly way smaller than Shein because Shein's even bigger than Zara and H&M combined. But looking at Fashion so Nova, bigger. they've got people who they pay in LA to work for them and they're paying them $2.77 an hour. That is not livable income, especially being here in LA. So well, imagine what she's LA. doing across Ooh, the world. Unfortunately, we That's don't insane. have a spokesperson from one of these factories owned by Shein that can just come forth but and also tell us what's really going on. If that's in your, if it, that's in your country. Those are your labor laws. They're your yeah. labor laws. You're allowing that to happen. So make a law arrest that they, them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the fuck is this? Oh, it's the company's fault. No. Oh, so they're doing it illegally. Okay. All oh, right. Yeah. Okay, that's crazy. Arrest them. Yeah. Minimum wage here is seven dollars. So, oh, I mean, it's, no, it's not close, but it's half that. On, but we do have some reports, and these findings are scary. This company has tried to really cover up this mess. It took me a while to find some of these statistics and what's really going on inside of these it facilities is really because hard. it looks like Shein's doing. It is really hard to do any sweatshop stuff. What do you mean? Like it's hard to find any footage or like, I don't know. It feels like yeah. it's one of the harder things we've ever had to research for a video. Do you mean yeah. actually getting it? Yeah. Yeah. No, we it's only like got they, footage. They, we they scrub that stuff so much. Yeah. Yeah. That's why when we actually saw it in person, I was like, I've never seen this before. Yeah. yeah. Anywhere. Yeah. Like, no, nah, it's pretty it's cool. So it's pretty cool seeing it in person though. Yeah. You <laughs> yeah, know, yeah. The ticket off the bucket list. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Oh man everything in their power to cover it all up. There were actually a group of researchers who went to China and they found these different manufacturing sites. And some of them were considered residential buildings that were just bought over by Sheen and then turned into a factory, which is not safe because it's not like regulated for a working space with windows or emergency exits. And one of the researchers says like, I mean, I hope there's no fire there because I can't even imagine what that would be like. There were also some of these employees who spoke to these researchers and shared that they sewed for 12 hours a day, working about 75 hours a week and receiving one on day off a no. month. So now we know that these people are <laughs> overworked and underpaid. But now I question whether these no, people I haven't seen are adults things, new man grab a video. or children. There have been Don't a ton it. of no, accusations about yeah, employing children at these facilities and slavery. They're literally throwing out the slavery word out here. Um, and the company has failed to make proper disclosures about its working conditions to the British government because yeah I don't think it's fair though it is like we said it before it's just because the company is Chinese that Chinese was, owned. yeah 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 I think this is this is I mean I think it's also just that their scale like they are yeah they are so, so big. big yeah but it's like this is what everyone's doing it'd be interesting to see what um 
sweatshops and clothing shops were like in America because they do exist here. Like, yeah, yeah, actually, actually yeah, they have in Australia. Them. Yeah, they got them in Australia. Um, it's just hard to find. You really have to like, because I mean they're hiding from the police. So like, it's no, 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 I'm saying there's legal ones where they work in a factory, and it's still a lot of work. They just get paid better. Right, right. But right, it'd be right. interesting to see the difference. Oh, you mean like a worldwide sweatshop tour? Yeah, I would love that. Tour. Amazon warehouses, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right, right. And the thing is, you, you can't film inside Amazon either. Like, you don't see any footage from inside there. No. Shein is an international company, and different, you know, <laughs> countries have <laughs> different <laughs> policies, and the Brits want to know exactly how these clothes are getting created. Shein claims that they never engage in any type of child or forced labor, but they don't provide the full supply chain disclosure that these countries would like. I guess America doesn't give an F because Australia is also trying to figure out this information. They have like a modern... I don't think we care either. <laughs> cheap clothes, cheap clothes. Yeah. Did Hassan tell you my, um, my idea that I wanted your help yeah, for? About it. Wait, which one was he talking about? The submarine? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I don't want to build an actual submarine, but I think if we can get something that squishes and put uh, some body replica inside it under pressure. Um, okay. Yeah, but I don't know, because have you seen what they do with barrels where they put steam inside them, let the steam expand, pushing out all the air, then you seal it off and put cold water on the outside and then it just goes and crushes. So maybe you could do it like that. No, no. Uh, so pull like a vacuum inside? Yeah, and then yeah. just like throw it in the pool. But that might not be enough. I don't think it will be either, but... We'll have to co collaborate with I Do The Thing. But I also want it to look really dramatic, like I want... <laughs> yeah, so what I wanted to do was just to show what actually happens to a body. Um, when it when it gets crushed in a submarine. But also maybe the submarine stuff's lame now. It's already done. I mean, it's too late. We also love pressure washers, so that was one of the things I wanted to bring in. What, to pressurize it? Yeah. Yeah, you could do that. You do love pressure washers. I do, I do love them. Okay. People are saying we should do a sweatshop tour here in America. Yeah, what other ones can we go to though? It's so hard to get into the Amazon factories. Wait, did, did Hassan tell you my other no, oh, no. You're here for 4th of July, so you need yeah. to Oh, yeah, I did so some explosions. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we can take you to see fireworks, but that's kind of basic. Can we play with fireworks? Are we allowed it's to do a, that? Isn't yeah, that illegal? That. So you can either do the fireworks like the lame kind, California safe kind here. Yep. Or you can go to Vegas and buy the real shit. Mm. Can we get the real shit here and then still play with them? Not legal. Okay. And we would never do that. Yeah. We, don't. we would never violate the... We would never violate the rules of the law. Yeah. Um, we love the rules. Slavery <laughs> statement or something they have to send to the Australian government that they're not doing so. So um, this has actually ended up into some legal trouble for Sheehan because they're not following the laws in these countries and they continue to sell. Also, I forgot to mention, these people who are working 75 hour weeks are making about two to six cents per article of clothing. I don't exactly understand the turnout rate. Clothes. I guess they're like sewing, putting together like, they're how crying because they're works, slow. But that doesn't <laughs> yeah, seem like... Right. They all want to fucking... Um, Here's a look at the tag. Right right Nobody there. wants to work anymore, dude. What the, the technology fuck? And washing, washing. Need your help. Before we talk a little bit about the history of Shein, I do want to share that back they the same claim shit. they never engage in child or forced labor. Like I mentioned earlier, it's on their website, but... Uh, there's no way that this situation's ethical. If Shein was such a great place to work at, then why don't they show the factories? Why don't they show the workers? Well, they guess do what? Show the factories. They did show the factories. Shein saw this fucking YouTube video and was like, we have to show the factories now. <laughs> like, <Can't laughs> now win. we know why. You can't win if you're Shein. 
Now we know why they did that. Is are the clothing being created? Why are they arguing with these old photos from 2014, 2015 to try to make their case that they're not forcing labor or providing unsafe working conditions? It just, mm, it seems a little bit sus to me. But like, I want to talk about me. how this company started because it's massive. I'm so different now. So the company was originally created by a man named Chris Wu. In late 2008, they changed the company's name to She Inside, which is where the name Shein comes from. A lot of people call it Sheen, but I believe it's supposed to be Shein from what I've looked at online because the name originally was She Inside put together. And now they were we using know. social media marketing to sell clothing primarily clothing for women on this website. By 2016, they were creating their own Shein clothing. By 2017, they started to appear. We, should we skip this? Yeah. I feel like people are bored. Wow. Well, a lot of you are. It's because they're attacking Shein. That's why we're skipping it, chat. Yeah, yeah. They went too far. Yeah.